Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And um, I share messages and guidance that come through for me, for my journey and for others that come to me. And so um, yesterday I received an email from a lady who said that she saw some moths just uh, which weren't common for this time of the year in the place that she lived. And she saw two moths. When I got back last night after meeting up with my twin, there was a moth on my floor so um, I am going to share the message around the moth symbolism because this is the most important thing is when you start to see signs, messages, bring it brought to you by animals, then take note because research them because they will have meanings for you. So the moth spirit is moth, symbol of it, moth symbolism, dancing in the realm of the eternal flame resonates with a deep and meaningful spiritual pursuit, aligned to the element of fire which ignites and holds passion, thus illuminating the mind in the realm of the eternal flame of truth. So, a journey of following the light. So, moths um, come out in the dark and they look towards the light. So there is a there is um, another message around the moth though, and it is to surrender. So um, it is to basically <clears throat> the, the to not go to. And I know <laughs> I'm going to read you what the from the symbolism from the spirit animal deck because I can totally understand this. Having seen my twin yesterday, my instant reaction is I want to see more and more and more and more and more of him, which is what always happens because he's like, you know, it's like candy. Um, and so the thing, so this is the moth spirit giving this advice, which is just so perfect because it is quite stern advice. And it is the moth spirit asks, what is guiding you right now? Are you in alignment with spirit or pursuing something or someone with so much tenacity that it has become a compulsion or an addiction? Are you so intoxicated by a potential relationship or opportunity that you can't think straight? Hard work and dedication are virtues and love, of course, is a beautiful thing. However, when the moth of spirit appears, it is time to consider that have you gone over the edge in a relentless pursuit? Workaholism, overeating, perfectionism, or addiction to certainty, or even to a person may be your current vice. The form of your addiction does not matter so much as awareness of the consequences of remaining persistent when moderation is needed. Let go of your excessive energy by channeling it in more than one direction. The fire burns hot and you do not want to be engulfed by your passion to the exclusion of all the other pursuits that matter to you. Now is a time to surrender and radical acceptance so that your drive does not cause you to flee or to fight. Spirit wants you to release your need for certainty and control so that you can relax into a more balanced way of using your moth spirit energy. Banish the shoulds and musts so that you can enjoy what is as you allow for what might be. The moth spirit can be intense and honesty about your own compulsive tendencies is needed right now. It is far too easy to switch from one addiction to another, distracting yourself from the discomfort of uncertainty and the thoughts and emotions that arise when you aren't single-mindedly pursuing your goal. Moth spirit calls to you to practice moderation in all things and recognize when things, when you think you are headed toward the light but are really heading into a fire that will cause burnout. Why are you so resistant to letting up? Could you be avoiding difficult emotions you need to feel and release? Now is the time to do a fearless inventory so that your addictive tendencies can be toned down and rechanneled into enthusiastic activity and moderation. You are not a machine. Listen to more spirit message that a change is needed to support your well-being. Maybe deep down you know you have become too attached to something and someone. Let go of your need to control the outcome and allow yourself to remember the many ways you want to channel your energy. To relationships, to work, to giving to others, to self-care 
and to all the other pursuits you value. <clears throat> so that's so funny because I actually say to me, my twin that he's like the human version of crack because you just want more and more and more and more and more because it feels so good. <laughs> so I totally uh, get why the moss spirit has come because it's like, whoa, hold down there. Because you have to, what's, you know, you have to recalibrate the energy. You have to take that moment to step back, to let go. And so the message is the spirit of water. So and this is really interesting because um, you have to let the emotions flow through. So since yesterday, there are a few things that came up, which really um, came up again. Everything comes up for a reason to be let go of. But for me, there were certain triggers that came up that was that feeling of not being good enough and um, that came up. So this is like washing away those emotions. So the spirit of water... Um, is like the cleanser. So uh, always remember that we're recalibrating energies as well. That's a big thing because uh, we have to do it gently because it's overwhelming. So trust your intuition. Know that you're on the right path. Take time to nurture yourself. Allow your inner child free reign and believe in your dreams. Don't stifle your emotions. Trust the messages they're giving you. Purify and cleanse yourself and your home. Healing is on its way. Emotional healing energy is expanding within you. Your native spirit wants you to know the spirit of water invites an emotional richness into your life. Communicate from your heart. Embrace your childlike wonder. This card also represents purification, cleansing and healing. It reminds you to clean your personal space and your body. It also urges you to accept and embrace your emotions, all of them, even the ones that you don't usually like. Additionally, trust in your hunches, push off from the shore of safety and enter the flow of life because all is well. And the journey for this is be aware of the water in your life. Humidity, mist, clouds, rain, water and food, fruit, vegetables and so forth. The ocean, the rivers, the bath and the shower. Drink extra water. Energize it by placing your hand over each glass and sending love into the water. Evaluate relationships. Notice how each encounter affects your subtle emotions. Take some daily time to relax, especially near or in water. Cleanse and purify yourself and your living space using water. Imagine how it would feel to be a still pool, a mountain stream, a mist, the great sea or a summer shower. Notice any emotions or feelings that emerge as you do this and watch your dreams. So always put the intent into your...